Hello and welcome back to another American Truck Simulator video. My name is Moose78. In today's video, we are going to finish up our run down to Ontario, Oregon. And if you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching, hello, thanks for checking it out. Be sure to take a look around, consider subscribing, and if you do happen to subscribe, be sure to hit that bell icon to be notified when new content goes live. Let's take a look at our map here. We are just outside of Pendleton. Just running down here to Ontario, so we should make that no problem. Oh, that's cool. There is a Global Mills just uh, outside of Ontario. The more you know. Looks like we got a couple more scales to pass. Man, there are a ton of scales in Oregon, I have noticed. But of course, we are in the Peterbilt 377 by Half Fast Gaming. And fired it up. Hop in here. I am using the uh, Fall Weather Mod, or Early Autumn Mod, I believe it is the exact name by Grimes. Link for that, of course, will be in the video description, so be sure to check that out if you kind of want to change up your uh, in-game scenery and whatnot. And I hate how the AI just kind of drives through here. Drives me nuts. So in-game, it's about 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, but it's a little bit foggy and whatnot, so... To, there we go, center my camera up. There we go. Watch out for these crazy fools over here. Well, you jackass. Wait till I get right up there and say, oh. Why we can't have freaking nice things in 2018? I love this weather mod though, just how it changes the uh, scenery and everything. Kind of gives it that kind of bleh kind of feel that you uh, oftentimes see in the autumn. Do a little daytime driving in Oregon. I know uh, the last video was uh, eh, it was kind of evening, a little bit into the night. So we will get out and experience a little daytime Oregon driving here on the channel. Hopefully everyone's doing well today. And if you guys like these kind of videos where I kind of build a truck, take it out for a test drive, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, one thing I also want to try doing is just building the truck and like even maybe uh, like an ownable trailer or something and then take it out for a quick quick test drive, quick spin. But yeah, like I was saying in the last video, I am impressed with Oregon so far. Looks amazing. The road system looks really good. So my crew's right there at about 60. That seems about right. Oh, it's a little bit under the speed limit, but as we all know, the AI in this game's a little bit crazy, so. has been discovered. Not 
excited to get back into the game. I have not played, as you guys have seen, you know, as far as uploads on the channel goes for a while. I have not really played ATS a lot, but uh, definitely looking forward to get back and in, back into it with uh, the new new Oregon DLC. Let's explore this and uh, get some nice long runs in, you know, back and forth between Oregon, New Mexico, and just wherever. Still got to get a lot of mods in game that I just have not taken the time to sit down and do, which shame on me for that, I guess. But uh, I have not touched the uh, flat class in shoot probably a good couple months. But uh, need to need to get that finished, get it in game, start using that. Windy little road here. That's pretty cool. Get a little Jake action in. few people have asked about the uh, Mac Anthem. Yes, I do want to get that uh, up on the channel just because people have been asking for it. So probably here uh, pretty soon we'll get a video up with that. Kind of do like we did with the 377 here. Kind of build it real quick, take it out for a quick spin. Just, just. 
just loving it, man. Just loving this DLC so far. Love using this uh, 377 too. This will definitely be sticking around the channel for a while. Put some miles on it. Try to break the 389 back out a little bit. If there's any trucks I need to check out, leave a comment down below. I've got a couple that I've not used yet. Um, I think I've got an updated version. Maybe I got it off the Steam Workshop. I can't remember, but uh, of Harbin's uh, Freightliner FLB cab over action. pick up uh, my other own trailer, the uh, refrigerator trailer, which is just the uh, S-E-S-C-S, easy for me to say, reverse, so, nice, got the bypass action going on, let's go, I'd never get that. Kind of curious what the next date's gonna be. I'd imagine if I had to guess it's probably gonna be like Utah, or something like that. Kind of start to fill in the northern part of the map here before they start to head east again. And hopefully Grimes does an updated version of his uh, frosty winter weather mod as well. Because looking at his uh, website, it looks like he kind of does some of that stuff for uh, Euro Truck Sim. Where he's got uh, several different mods for several different seasons, so that's pretty cool. out there what do we got coming up I think we're doing good on fuel so I don't have to worry about stopping there and let's see steeler I want to get in some of the steel mills so I probably need to get a uh, flatbed or something going so I can check out a lot of the new companies and whatnot it's only a bad thing about pulling a uh, reefer or a van. You know, you can't really can't really check out a lot of the new uh, companies that they added. Feels like a completely different game now, though. It's crazy. I will definitely say the team that worked on New Mexico and Oregon just completely. I know I've said it before, and I'll say it many times again because it 
bears mentioning, but uh, they just knocked it out of the park with the last two DLCs. They just feel so much different than uh, the rest of the game. And I'm just impressed with how far the game's come in the last uh, little bit there. In the last year or so. Kind of curious to see what uh, the next year holds. Are we going to get new trucks in game? I know they've been teasing us a little bit with the Volvo. I know uh, back in the summer they were in Chicago at uh, Navistar headquarters. Hopefully something comes from that. I know we've seen stuff like that in the past where it doesn't really seem like anything kind of kind of came to fruition. I can imagine, you know, as you know has been the case for a while, kind of a licensing issue. read things and it sounds like uh, you know international is all but a given to be in the game price of pro stars the lone star so that'll be nice It'll be nice to mess around with add some variety to the game a little bit other than uh, like the you know packer trucks that we've had traffic what are you doing to me what are you doing I'm still trying to get used to the mirrors in this truck though it's a little bit different than uh 579, which I drove for like every day. Thing sounds good. I don't know what it is, but it seems like buses running packs now. I don't know what that is, but crazy. Seems like to see one, you see like half a dozen. Take a look around, probably missed the light. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. to see the uh, light there with uh, Corby's bow tie on. But it looks cool. Looks -a good. Little house construction wall over there. Nice little neighborhood. Uh, 
uh, it's a little bit too hard there. Ontario looks awesome. This is pretty freaking awesome. This feels a lot different than a lot of the other little towns in uh, ATS. That is for sure. So where are we at up here? Eddie's, that's awesome. I hate delivering to Eddie's. It's like the bane of my existence. Let's see how hard I can fail at this. Oh boy, where do you need it? Because I hate myself. This is starting off lovely. This is starting off pretty freaking lovely. There's got to be a freaking trailer right there on the other side. Dinner boom done. Now, 
not the prettiest, but I will take it. Because I suck at backing up in this game. I said it. I said it. This was going good a second ago. Now it's all. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. I really do appreciate it. If you did like today's video, just be sure to give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please take a look around. Consider subscribing now. And be sure to hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos go live. But guys, until the next video, stay safe out there. Be good to one another. Take care. And we'll be seeing you.